babes. What are you doing to yourself? Because of what happened, she hardly eat. She don't take calls. She don't even go out. You've totally deprived yourself of everything that will give you happiness. You're not being fair on yourself. <sighs> All you sit here doing every day is thinking, crying. Eva, it's been two weeks, two good weeks since you left your husband's house and you're still like this. <sighs> Babe, this your condition is really giving me concern. What you expect? What do you expect from a woman that was married for eight years? I spent all I had on medications, both safe and unsafe, just to give my husband a child. Still, it was wasted eight years. And you still expect me to be optimistic? About what exactly? Look, if... still hope for you. The fact that this happened doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You have to move on. You have to look at the brighter side of life and be hopeful that tomorrow has something in store for you. <sighs> okay, friend. Look at you. You look like shit. This is not my girlfriend. I need you to go in there, freshen up, get something to eat, and go see your doctor. He's been calling. I'm already out of the marriage. I don't see the point continuing with the medication. If I can, you. Please stop shutting yourself out. Do you think it's over for you? No. I know that God has something good for you. I believe. You know that God can just send a man who is well deserving. I will sweep you off your feet. But first, you have to move on.
Nine with your gown. Eh? Come on. Which one? Is that the person I'll be working for? If I yes. Me. Does his lifestyle have anything to do with him? What kind of a person is that? Oh, if I please, can you just help me clean up this mess? Help you clean which mess? I mean, who comes to the living room to make a look at used condoms everywhere? See drinks, everything lit up. Eva, why are you acting like you've, known, you've never seen condom before? Why? Stop now, just help me, please. Eh? Oh, who help you? Me. Use my help to pack used condoms. For what now? Eh? But this is what you get to do, do eventually. I do I know if they're going to take you? Have they employed me? Just look at Hold on, first. So, you know what I'm telling you? Oh, God. This girl. Will he be the one to interview you? No. He's not the one that will interview you. His elder sister will. You just hold on, okay? When she's here, she'll do that. I don't know why you're doing it. Hold on. You, what do you want to do? Eva, please thing? stop now. You go and get a broom and a pack and I want you. Jerry, stop, I beg. Stop acting like you, you don't know you don't know what happened. Okay, sorry, don't be upset. Hmm? Why won't I be upset? Jerry, but I thought you said you loved me. Okay, the girl that came to the house the other day, how is she better than me in any way? What's was 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 this your habit of bringing him random girls to the house? Baby, this is not fair. Look, it's not like that, okay? I was lonely. I called you, but you were unavailable. Really? Okay, because I was unavailable, you had to bring in a, a random girl to the house, right? Baby girl. <laughs> Fine girl. Leave me alone. Stop it. Confucius Nelly. Pass your figure eight. Jerry, stop oh, now. Leave like me this alone. Thing. Where should I buy them? Oh, yeah. Jerry, stop. Mm -hmm. stop. I bought you down there. Stop. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Look, it won't happen again, all right? It won't happen again. It won't. But that's what you always say, yet you do it again and again and again. All right, all right, all right. I, I won't let you catch me again, okay? No, 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 see now, you're joking. You're making a joke out of <laughs> this. Right, stop. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm, relax, you like this thing. You're just pretending. <laughs> Because you know I like it, that's why you're doing all what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Hey, who is that girl that you came with? 
Okay, Eva. That's my friend. Your sister says she needed the maid, so I brought her. Ah. Okay. Why are you doing like that? Oh, nothing. I have to go now. I kept something on the fire. Wait, I'm going to give me some sugar. Come on, don't be like that. <laughs> Would you want it? Uh -huh. Any way you want it. <laughs> I'm going home. Yeah, I'll be yeah. back, okay? When I'm back, I'll give you. Yeah, quick, what did you say? I'm coming. Said you know her? Yes, ma'am. She's my friend. As a matter of fact, we live together. I see. Ordinarily, I would not consider her because both of you are friends. But because you've worked with me for a long time and I know your abilities, you have not given me any reason to question your loyalty in this house. I will employ her. Thank you. You know what to do. Talk to her and tell her everything in this house. Um, work starts by 8 o'clock. Closes by 6. The job here is much, so you split it amongst yourselves. Your salary will be 35,000 naira monthly. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. It's okay, Ma. Well, why was she looking at me like that? She's just trying to check. Check out. Oh, no. It's okay. Hmm. What am I doing? Um, I'm going to tell you how we're going to go about the job, okay? okay. So you will order your own. Celebrating a lot. First, friendship, and also this is my first month of working. And as soon as I got paid, I decided to get barbecue as a way of saying thank you for everything. <laughs> yep. So, um, I. I wasn't expecting this. Of course you weren't expecting it, but I had to do it. Nelly, you've been a great friend to me. Yes, you've been there during my worst days. And this is my little way of saying thank you. You're welcome. Look, let me just I I go know, wash my hands I so know. that I eat this. Let me Barbecue, I come and devour it. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Just divorce. Are you not? Are you not? It's an enjoyed person. Hey, why? Who are you? Why guy? You're saying you are doing hmm? If are you still cleaning? Yes. Yes. Are you sure you're okay? You have been acting tired and dizzy for some days now. I'm okay. I'm just um, 
You're just like what? You don't look okay to me at all. Just this small living room, you have been cleaning it since. When you clean small, you just go and sit down and sleep. You have to go and see your doctor. Hmm? Yes. I say I'm fine. <laughs> Please hurry up and finish before these people return. We have a lot to do. Okay, now I'm the one stopping you from cleaning. Girlfriend, hmm? what is it? Start talking. What? This is the second time you're throwing up this morning. Do I look like a child to you? Spill it out already. I'm fine, Nemi. Eva, spill it out. I'm pregnant. Are you serious? Wow. I went to the doctor and he confirmed it. Hey, Eva, you, you're pregnant. Yeah. This is good news. Praise the Lord. Um, have you told Kenneth? No, I haven't. There is no need telling him. Why? Baby, this is what you both have sought after for eight years. The child is not his. What, what do you mean by... The child is not his. It's Jerry. <laughs> which, which Jerry? The Jerry we're working for. Eva! Wait. I, I, Eva, you, you, you mean you have been it's sleeping with Jerry? It's not like that. It just happened and I got pregnant. Okay? Listen, Nelly, please, Nelly, please, I beg you, do not tell anybody this, okay? Don't even mention it to Jerry. I beg of you, Nelly, listen to me, listen. Not even Jerry, you don't have to mention this to anybody. Nelly, do you even understand? I don't understand. What do you mean I got her pregnant? Please, I can't believe you're still acting as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Because I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, Jay, please stop. Stop it. I, th I thought you said you loved me. Look, I can understand you and tolerate you being with other girls. Come on. Not with my friend, Jerry. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're still pretending. You got my friend pregnant and you're pretending. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Pregnant. Yes, How? pregnant. Where? Oh, Jay, stop. Look, look, look. Okay, look. Maybe it's a prank. A prank? A prank? Yes. How can you be pranking me that Oga Jerry got you pregnant? Whereas it is a lie. That is the truth. I am not lying. No, you are lying because I asked him and he confirmed that such a thing never happened. You asked him? Nelly, I specifically asked you not to. I begged you. Why will you go about asking him such a thing? I needed to clarify things. You needed to clarify things after I told you? Why do you want to stretch this? These are the list of all we should get for the house today. Make sure you buy them today. Right. Okay? Go to the market and get them. I'll try and get money from my brother. Just go and prepare while I get money from him. All right. Hey. You. What's your name? Eva. Eva. Are you mad? Huh? Are you mad? What is the meaning of that little stunt you're trying to pull? Jerry, calm down. What is it? What's the problem? Ask her! 
Ask her why she told her friend that I slept with her and got her pregnant. Mm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Can't you talk? Talk now. Can't you talk again? What rubbish is that? Why would you go around telling people that my brother got you pregnant? Eh? Hey, can you imagine the audacity? Are you mad or something? Eh? How can you accuse him of sleeping with you and getting you pregnant? See, eh? Next time you try such rubbish, you will see yourself. Can you imagine the accusation? Get out! Get out of here! Can you imagine? Jerry! Jerry, wait! This is the height of it. I can't take this anymore. That girl is fired. No, 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 no. No. What are you going to do? <laughs> Jerry, you had better apply wisdom in this matter. Use your head. It's, there's no time for foul words. None at all. What is wrong with you? I said I saw the test. It was boldly written. Positive. Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that I did it? That is a ridiculous question. Look, I agree. I'm a womanizer. I love women. <laughs> but let me ask you this. Have you ever seen me with a slim lady? Exactly. She's not my spec. I love thick women. I love curvy women. I love women with big bum, big breast. That girl is dry. She has a dry chest. She has a dry ass. What am I doing with... You know what? I'm actually done having this conversation. Like I said, she's fired. <laughs> You will not fire anybody. Mm. You will relax. You will allow me to handle this matter. Guy, a child is involved here. Okay. Remember I said you should apply wisdom. Yeah, of course. Not this thing you're doing. Yeah, just stand back. I want to apply wisdom. Don't worry. Let's handle this. Let me give you space. I'm handling it. Jerry! Hey! Eva! 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 You are such a desperate and disgusting lady. You hear me? I don't want to see you anywhere close to me. Do you understand that? You're fired. If I hear one word from you, I'll give you a slap that will flush out that thing out of your womb. Get out! Things will turn out this way. I am sorry that you had to lose your job. Please, it wasn't intentional. I'm sorry, please. Forgive me. I trusted you now. I told you something in confidence. You promised not to tell, but you did. I'm sure you're happy now that I've lost the job. Of course I am not. Oh, please. Eva, why would you even say a thing like that? Please, don't even pretend. 
okay? You're very happy I lost the job. And as such, I won't be in the way of your sexual escapades with Jerry. Of course I'm aware. I'm not stupid. I've got eyes. And that's why you betrayed me. You went to tell him everything I told you in confidence. She beat you. What? Eva, you called me an idiot. Meanwhile, you're the one trying to pin a pregnancy that only God knows where you got it from on a man. An innocent man. It is obvious that you're jealous of me and you want my man. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your man? Jerry, of course. <laughs> please. Please don't be stupid, okay? Wait. You think Jerry's your man? He's my man. You must be very useless to think that a chronic womanizer like Jerry would have anything to do with you. Please wake up. He sees you as nothing but a tool for sexual satisfaction. Is that what you think? That's what I know. Eva, is that what you think? Now I can see that jealousy has crept into your heart, and that is what will kill you. Jerry is my man, and nobody can take him away from me. <laughs> look at look at these idiots. Look at this fool that I'm trying to you help. So stupid. You're so stupid that. yourself. You're so stupid. You even have the guts to be challenging me. Look at this one. Oh. Look, let me warn you. If you ever try it, you will see the other side of me that you never knew existed. Please, can you unfold it? Let's see. I shall unfold it. Yes. See, Eva, don't even push me. Don't even... Don't worry. Don't... Don't... Don't try it. You will not like what you get. Eva, I want to cook rice. Would you prefer white rice or jollof rice? I'm not interested. What's your business? Have you seen my airport? Eva, I am asking you, have you seen my Please, airport? Please, can you stop disturbing me? If you know where you kept your airport, go there and collect it. Do we use airports together? Oh, really? You want us to be enemies and carrying faces in the house? In my house? Eva, look, I've been trying so hard to let things slide. But it is obvious that you're head bent on proving to me that I am the bad person here. It's fine. I guess it is time for you to leave my house. I cannot leave with my enemy. Okay. This actually came too late than expected. That has always been your plan, so. to do what 
What do you want from me? First, I was forced into a marriage I was never prepared for. Barry for eight years. And now I was thrown out. Now I am pregnant for a man who doesn't even care about me. And here you are complicating things for me. You are supposed to be on my side. You're supposed to be my friend. You know what it means to be my shoe. You know what it feels like. So sorry. Sorry to make you cry. Sorry for the harsh words I used. Sorry for everything. Please. I, I promise to stay by you. We will find this together, please. I tried to fight him, but he overpowered me. I melted into his hands and he had his way. Which means he raped you? No. You can say he did. I would just say it's something I wouldn't have consented to at that time. Eva, what are you saying? He raped you. And why didn't you even bother to tell me? How can I tell you such a thing? Knowing fully whether you two were dating. This is just a mistake I don't want to remember. That guy is a stupid idiot. A chronic womanizer and an unrepentant fool. I just regret ever letting him touch me. Mr. Jeremiah Ike, I am officially here to tender my resignation. I am no longer working for you. I don't understand. What do you mean? I have had enough from you. I was a fool for thinking that you would ever love and consider me. I was a fool. But I will never wallow in that foolishness anymore. I resign. <sighs> don't touch me. Don't. And for your information, my friend is pregnant. Ah, uh, she is not pregnant for she me. She is pregnant for you and you are denying it. Then we have to go for a DNA test. Are you being serious? I am very serious. You know, the fact that we had something in the past doesn't mean you should forget your boundaries. There are no more boundaries. Not anymore. You have betrayed me and you will pay for that. Next one. Going for the DNA test. You are insane. You are the one that is insane, and we will see at the end.
I have resigned. Many. Judy Boat. I resigned. I can't find myself working for that stupid and irresponsible man. Belly, this has got nothing to do with you. Okay, now that you've resigned, how are we going to survive? Don't worry, we will survive. In no time, I'm going to get a job. But that idiot has to pay for everything. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm planning on making you go for a DNA, DNA test. A DNA what? I didn't ask for that. I don't want it. I don't understand. Baby, you're pregnant. At least even if he doesn't want to marry you, he should take care of you and pay for child support. So. I don't want it. I never asked for that. You are the one stretching this thing. I told you. Okay, I'm fine. Eva, you're not fine. You're not fine. That idiot raped you, got you pregnant, and he's denying it. I won't sit and fold my hands, watch you go through the ordeal of pregnancy and raising a child as a single mom without him raising a finger. The DNA test will make him comply to do that. Okay, no. I'm pregnant. How are we going to do it? What do you say? Yes, I'm pregnant. We can conduct the DNA test. Now. We can. With your pregnancy, we can. I don't want this. Okay? I don't. Eva, you have to do it. Look, this your stubbornness of not wanting to do anything is getting on my nerves. You have to go for it. You know, I've actually been calm with you, but I can see that you're mad. So you connived with your friend to pin this pregnancy on me? The next time you call my number, I'll show you the other side of me. You better ask your friend, friend to tell you who she's pregnant for. Fools. You know, some girls are really desperate. How can you be insisting on a prenatal DNA test over a pregnancy that I am sure is not mine? It's really the audacity for me. It's how this lady has been consistent and confident in her assertion. But Jerry, 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 if you are sure this pregnancy isn't yours, let's not do a DNA test. I don't want to hear anything about a DNA test. Please. This whole DNA test thing has Nelly's handwriting written all over it. And I'm going to show them that I'm not someone you can easily intimidate. Listen, just do this test and I don't want to hear anything about a test. Come in! You are not saying I am Detective Martins. And with me is Corporal Halima. Are you Mr. Okay. Yes, I am. Is there a problem? We need to come to the station without that. Why? Questions about what? Questions about my friend's pregnancy. You got her pregnant and you refused to take responsibility. Officer, listen to me. This one right here is hallucinating. Hey. I don't know what she's talking about. Jerry, Jerry, no problem. When we get to the station, you can drop your statement. But for now, come with us. Hey, hey, officer, officers, please. We can sort this thing out. There's nothing to sort out. I'll follow them to the station. For what? Yes. Go to the station for oh, pregnancy. Let's go. Let's go to the uh -uh. Pregnancy that I'm not responsible for. Belewa, I don't give anybody. You're talking about what? It's 
went well. Okay. I called the police on him. You did what? <sighs> Nelly, why are you going about this thing this way? Yes, Eva. I am happy that I am going about it this way. I have put in a lot on this. Eva, I have spent and sacrificed a lot too, so there is no turning back. After calling the police on him, the idiot finally agreed to be available to me. Agreed to be available? Available for what? Eva, please stop. Stop now. Why are you giving me these bad vibes? Look, tomorrow is by the corner. And we have to get the DNA test done. That is the most important thing. Uh-uh. she have gone? But I, I told her that we have a 10 o'clock appointment at the hospital. <gasps> She's still not taking calls. What is this now? of this now. This is, this is not funny. She's still not taking calls. How can she even leave the house without the knowledge of where she's going to? Even now. Who does this? Wait, oh. wait, wait. I hope this is not Eva trying to run away from me during the DNA test. No, <laughs> that better not be. heard from you or your sister. We are late. I thought the appointment was for 10 a.m. Jerry, please, I am I'm sorry. But, but there's a situation here. Eva is nowhere to be found. I, I was already set to, to, to come to the hospital. She's still not even taking her calls. Why would you find her? Of course you won't find her because she knows I am not responsible for her pregnancy. You guys want a DNA test, right? I'll give you one. 
and if it turns out that this was a waste of my time, you'll regret the day you met me. Jerry, Jerry, please, please calm down, okay? I am going to make sure that I reach out and once I, I, I get to, 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 if I were going to come to the hospital and the DNA test to be carried out, so okay. by I went out. Eh? You know that we have an appointment at the hospital. You went out without even telling me and yet you were not taking calls. Really? I just needed to clear my head and relieve stress. Stress? Eva, did I just hear you say stress? Hold on. Hold on. Eva. Stress, you see. Are you aware of the personal stress and inconveniences that I am going through myself? Huh? Are you aware? Look, I have put in so much on this. You taking me as a fool at this point is something I will not take. Why the golf fit? I thought you told me that Jerry is responsible for your pregnancy. Listen, it's not like that. It is exactly like that. Eva, it is exactly like that. I have to get sent, so we'll go to the hospital for the DNA tests. Ha ha! What is it? If you refuse, I will consider you a liar and a manipulator. And this may ruin our friendship. You have 20 seconds. I mean, 20 minutes I'll consider you to go get sent, so we'll go for the test. Well, like I said, I am not going for that DNA test. And Jerry, is responsible for my pregnancy. It's funny, isn't it? Really funny. So these girls were playing us all along. And I thought they were responsible. I told you they're just messing with us. If they don't show up for this DNA test, I'm going to use the same police that they harassed me with to teach them a lesson. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Please, you will do no such thing. Just let them go. Let them go with their issues. As we speak now, they might be on the run. Please, just let them carry their problems and go and beg. Finally. What is even wrong with those girls? <gasps> Just do this thing and be free, please. Eva. Hey. Ah, babe. Yeah. Since after that test, you've been acting so good. What is it? It's nothing. I mean, it was a stressful day, so I'm just tired. You're tired or oh, you're nervous? Nervous? I should be the one asking you. <laughs> no. I'm just tired, that's all. It's okay. So, um, would you want to eat anything? Mm, 
I mean, I don't know if I want anything. Or maybe a cold drink or water. It's fine. Okay. Let me get you something to drink. I can't believe this. No, I won't accept this. Why? This is fake. Those girls faked this. This is forgery. Okay, so how is that forged? You don't know those girls. They can go to any extent to achieve this. I'm not going to accept this. Do what he says. Of course, we will do what he says. I mean, meaning that we have to carry out another test result. He's saying the results we give to him are fake. That we must have colluded with the people and then issued him a fake result. And since he says the pregnancy is not his, just let him be. I will not let him be. That will not happen. Anyway, he suggested to Fresh Hospital and we have to pick him up on that. Okay. But you do know that this thing is really stressful, right? Eva, what is your problem? Why am I the one pushing you when it's supposed to be the other way around? Is there something you're hiding? What can I possibly be hiding? I should be the one asking you. This result proves that you are responsible. It's, it's impossible. It has to be a mistake. There must be a mix-up somewhere. I, I don't understand this. You don't understand? What do you mean you don't understand? Eh? Are you listening to yourself at all? Three different results from three different hospitals that has Three different lab technicians. Guy, come on now. Stop now. Stop saying this rubbish. Guy, man up. You need to take responsibility for your actions. Maybe, okay? Just maybe you have slept with this lady in your unconscious state. Look, I know that I drink, but I know myself. I didn't do this. What do you want? What do you mean you didn't do this? Guys, stop! How does this sound in your ear? Guy, man up! Stop this thing you're saying! Take responsibility for your action! Call her! Responsibility? Jerry, call her and know what she wants. What she wants? Yes! You need to know what she wants. I don't want anything. What do you mean? If I'm sure this is what you want. What was the meaning of what you did out there? Huh? What is wrong with you? How can you throw away such a golden opportunity? An opportunity to get support and gain ground. You just threw it away. Like I said, I don't need anything from them. I don't. This girl, what is, what, what is, what is wrong with you? Do I need to remind you that you are pregnant? You don't have a job currently. 
It's not like you have a very rich family who would support you. Yet you threw away such a golden opportunity. Do you even know the gravity of what you just did? The ordeal of pregnancy. The aftermath of giving birth and raising a child single-handedly. Do you know all of those? You know what? This whole thing wouldn't be happening if you had kept your mouth shut. But no, you couldn't. Yes, I got pregnant. I told you as my friend and you promised to keep shut. But no, you went there to tell them. You escalated all these things. By now, we'd have still been there doing our jobs, but no, you refuse to shut up. Eva, you're talking nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Can you even hear yourself talk? If not that you flew to that place, blah, 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 and all that. Can you make up your mind and stop being childish? Look, I cannot sit here and watch you raise a poor child into this world because of your wrong choices, okay? They have to help. I don't need your help. I already made up my mind. Okay? You don't need your help, right? I don't. <laughs> I don't blame you. You don't need your help, right? You don't need your help. Eva, I don't blame you. By the time you suffer for one month or two, all those wires in your head that disconnected, they will reconnect and you will have sense. Rubbish. you stay away from me i don't want to see you here again please i'm sorry baby for what happened between us i'm sorry i know that i treated you bad honestly i have not been at peace with myself that's why i'm here to see you <laughs> please baby is this the face of someone who is sorry huh is this the face please listen and listen carefully do not come here again. I don't want to see you. Baby, I'm sorry. everywhere for you even the number you gave me was not has not been connecting i've looked for you and your friend i don't even know where you live but i've been around you eva you're carrying my brother's child mm -hmm. and it is my responsibility to take care of you and the baby your brother said the child is not his and i really don't want to bother anybody even at that we still need to do the needful we need to take care of you and the baby. How, how, how much is this? How much is all this? All of them. Everything is 3,000. Okay. You know what? It just... I want to buy it. I want to buy it. Uh, let me take it. Don't, don't, don't worry. No, no, no. Don't worry. I can carry it. Don't worry. Just...
This is not 3,000 old. I know. Use this to take care of yourself for the meantime. Okay? Please, just have this. Thank you. Meanwhile, give me another. So if you don't look happy, is there a problem? I saw Eva, the pregnant girl with your child. <sighs> what about her? She was hawking under the hot sun with the baby in her womb. Whose child? That's old news. I told you that baby doesn't belong. When did you become this mean and heartless? I told you I saw the lady carrying your child, hawking under the sun, and it means nothing to you? Eh? Now listen to me. I collected her contact. I also collected her address. I will send it to you and you will go and see her. Or her address. You do! You need it. You will go and do the needful. You will visit her. And in case you refuse, I will not abandon her. Because there will be a tomorrow. You will need that child. Why is it so hard for you to believe my side of the story? Why? Well, Jerry, because I know you. I am your sister. I know that your story sounds... Annoying, it sounds, it doesn't make sense at all. Because it is a lie. So young man, man up. Man up and take responsibility of that lady and the child. You had better not make an enemy for yourself. Tomorrow that child will see you as an enemy and also as an irresponsible young man. Oh, what a father. I will send you the address. I better do the need for rubbish. Did you rob someone? Start talking. Um, I met your former madam. So she bought... She bought fruit from me, but she paid way more than the cost of the fruit. So I decided to use the money to get things for the house. My former madam? Mm. Linda? Yes. Really? Yeah, she said she's been looking for me. Of course she has been looking for you. You're the one who insisted I block them. And then you had to change your phone number so they won't reach you. Now see. Yes, she also asked for our address, but I gave her the wrong one. Eva, do you know I've been trying to put two and two together, but I've not arrived at any answer yet. What is it? Why are you running from these people who are trying to help? Lily, I told you this before. I don't need these people's presence in my life. The only thing that matters to me is this child. And all I want is to raise him or her, and I'm fine. Okay? I don't need that. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Help 
to see your wife after everything you did to my friend you still have the guts to show your face here after she warned you never to show up here right yes she did but i've realized my mistakes and i want to talk things over with my wife wow nice speech you that abandoned my friend for another woman you're standing here boldly to tell me you have realized your mistake and you want to talk things out with her just carry yourself and leave this place, please. Nelly, please. I love my wife so much and I really want to talk to her. I'm sorry for everything that happened to her. It's like you don't understand all I've been saying, right? Just wait. Wait, let me call your... Whoa! <laughs> Kenneth. Kenneth. I will not pour you water the next time you bring your wretched foot into this house. I promise you. Tears will not change anything in the situation. The only thing you need to do is put yourself together and do what you need for. How can I put myself together, Nelly? How can I put myself together? My son is dying and there is nothing I can do to save him.
I know you don't want to have anything to do with this family. But as it is right now, you have to see them. <sighs> And there's nothing I can do to help him. Don't say that. Baby's not dying. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, since the land is okay for your project, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and purchase it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But this time around, get our lawyer involved, though. Please. Okay. To guarantee the authenticity of the documents, to avoid future wahala. <laughs> okay. I don't have strength again. I've heard you. Who is this? Hello? Ah! Eva, how are you? The address you gave me, I've been, you know, I've been looking for you. I went there and they said they don't know you. What is it? Oh my god! <laughs> Congratulations, my there. You've been bet. Oh, congrats. What is it? Put them in delivery. There are complications. And the doctor said the baby needs blood. I tend to do it. But he said I can't. Citing that I just gave birth. My friend tried, but her blood was in a batch. I don't know who else to talk to. So I said, if, I, if Jerry can help, please help me. I don't want to leave my child. Hey sis, I thought you said you were coming back shortly. Please, you need to stop saying that. Okay, I don't have the energy for this. And I hope you're not planning to bring that baby back to this house because it's not happening. Have I not made myself clear on this subject? Why do you have to keep disturbing me about this? Linda, I respect you a lot, but if you keep talking about this, then you and I are going to have a serious problem. That baby is not mine. I didn't sleep with that lady. I don't know what game she's playing. You know what? I am done having this conversation. refused. Oh, God. 
he, he said he didn't sleep with you, nor did he get you pregnant. Therefore, the child isn't his. Linda, please, can I see Jerry? Are you strong enough? I'm strong enough to do anything for my child. I don't want to lose him, please. Please. Help me get into order, please. 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 I want my child to die. I beg you, please. What is the meaning of this? I told you, I specifically told you that I don't want anything to do with this lying bitch. Neither do I want to see her child. Jerry. So what is she doing here? Jerry, calm down, please. She requested to see you. J just hear her out. Mr. Jerry, you didn't sleep with me. But you're the father of my child. I've been married for eight years, but couldn't conceive. Because of that, My husband threw me out of the house. Hey, I don't understand you. We're supposed to go to the doctor. Why are you seated here? Which doctor? Are you not the one that's supposed to go see the doctor for your medications? You need to stop this. We are supposed to go see the doctor. We're looking for a child. You are the one looking for a child, not me. Have you forgotten before I married you already had a child? I am fertile. I've been working. So you better go to the hospital and sort yourself out. How do you even explain this? Eight years of marriage and there's nothing to show for it. Kill it. Kill it. You need to stop this. You need to stop it, okay? You married me a virgin and I've tried everything within my power to make this thing work. Why are you making it look like it's my fault? So whose fault is it? My fault? Just get out of my presence. Go sort your problems and leave me alone. B. 
babe. Yes. I don't like the way Miss Rose spoke to me today. You need to talk to Miss Rose. I went to her to ask for the money she's owing me, and she started to abuse me, calling me barren. You need to talk to her, or better still, talk to her husband. And why should I talk to her? Are you not barren? Babe. Or you want me to go there? You want me to go over there so she would rub it to my face too? I'm not man enough. Whereas well, you know this is no fault of mine, but entirely yours. Babe, how can you be saying such a thing to me? Huh? You're my husband. You're supposed to stand by me and not say this. I will not stand by you. No, I will not. I am tired of people looking at me as if I'm not man enough. So whatever anyone says to you, take it digested and do not get me involved. Are you not bad? decided that I will be taking a second wife. So I wanted to tell you myself. What do you need another wife for? Why not? They want children, so do I. They want children, so do you. Kenneth. When we started off and things went rough for you, I stood by you. Where was your family? Why can't you stand by me during this difficult time? Why? Huh? Where was your family then? Where were they? Now you want to take another wife because your family said so. Is it fair? And I has been married to you for eight years without a child. Fair to me, Eva. Tell me. How is it fair to me? Oh, or is it because he helped me when I had small financial issues? So I should die because he helped me. Is that what you're trying to say? Listen, when she comes, she'll be sleeping on my bed so you can manage any of the couches. That's family decision and not mine. I, Eva, use the couch. Because your new wife will be in your bedroom with you. <laughs> you must be joking. Well, if you're not comfortable with that, or if his tie is not cool for you, you can as well pack your things and return to your father's house. There's nothing I can do about it. Excuse me. When I started working for you, one day, I entered your room and saw a used condom. 
I started thinking of inserting the sperm in my body and see if I'll get pregnant. It was a crazy and unreasonable thought for me. But considering the fact that I was looking for a child and I have nothing to lose if it works or not, I decided to give it a try. I didn't know I would get pregnant. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I never even thought I could get pregnant. When I found that I was pregnant, I wanted to keep it to myself. But I told my friend out of confidence. And she promised not to say it to anybody. When she told you, I didn't know what to do. So I lied. I'm really sorry. But please, I've come to beg you. I know you don't owe me anything. But for the sake of my dying child in the hospital, please, just help me. I don't want to lose my child. I beg you. Please. blood as well. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank you. This means a lot to me. It's okay. No, 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 no. He has left. You need to just relax. He did it because we pleaded with him and he confirmed that the baby is his. Thank you so much. It's okay. This will not be possible without you. Uh, it's okay. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you so much. It's okay. Besides, we needed to save the baby first. Yes. And you need to be strong. Your baby is fine now and he needs you. Of course, I'm very strong. <sighs> Just be strong, relax. Thank you. You're welcome. Come here to me. So you are welcome. You'll be fine. Yes. I was scared. I didn't know how you were going to feel. So I had to lie. Please. Please forgive me. Eva, I understand. We're friends. As a matter of fact, I can boldly see that we're sisters now. So I understand. After you quit your job, it became clear to me that it was going to be impossible to tell you the truth so I had to stick to the lie I'm sorry for the stress this must have caused you you don't deserve it but 
It's okay. okay. It's okay. Like I said, I, I understand, okay? You sure? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're getting strong now. Yeah, I am strong. Glad you are. And I can't wait to be back home. And I can't wait to have you at home. <laughs> I miss you, you know. <laughs> Kenneth, what are you doing here again? Baby, I am sorry it's all my fault. Because I've had a child before, I did not know there are possibilities that would make me unable to father another child. Due to the recent happening, I went to the hospital and confirmed that it's all my fault. Baby, please, I'm sorry for my mistakes. The emotional, the verbal abuse, I'm sorry. Please. First, I am not God that you should kneel before me. Secondly, this you're begging is useless to me. It's not going to yield any fruit because I can't marry you again. You already have a wife and I don't support polygamy. No. So go home and stick to your wife. No, baby, I did not marry her. It's all my sister's idea and you know, as a matter of fact, I did not promise her marriage. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm sorry for everything that happened. You don't have to be sorry. I'm thankful to God for showing everyone that I am not a barren woman. Okay? I have a bouncing baby boy to attend to. Right? I requested to see you because I need to speak my mind. You took my sperm. No, 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 actually, you stole my sperm. Artificially inseminated yourself, thereby becoming pregnant for me without my consent. Do you know the implication of what you did? That stunt alone cost me my relationship. You labeled me liar on several occasions. Are you even aware of the emotional trauma that you caused me? The only thing stopping me now from getting you arrested and making you pay for your crime is your child. Do you know your actions could have landed you in jail? Anyway, I've moved on. I'm hoping to find love again. At least with someone who is going to love me enough to understand the situation I'm around. And as for you, I think you have suffered enough with the child. I have decided to pay you 100,000 Naira every month to support the child. And I'm also going to set up a business for you so you can have an extra source of income. It's fine. Can I carry the baby?
Hey. Hey, little man. What's going on? Huh? <laughs> Say hi to Papa. Uh, at least he has my looks. <laughs> Smile for Papa. <laughs> no? Oh, I'm sure we're going to get there eventually. Baby, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. If you give me another chance, I'm going to spend the rest of my life treating you right. Please. I have a baby. What is going to happen to him? Your baby is my baby. We are one family now. So I want us to live together as one big happy family. 